Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a whole nother episode of Prison Tycoon. I really appreciate you hanging out with me today as we play a little bit more of this soon to be fantastic game. I really do believe that once there is the updates rolling out and, and things to add and things to really fix, I think this game's going to be something else. And uh, do I believe there will be DLC in the future of some sort? Yeah, I feel like this game can definitely expand on different things going forward as well. So, one thing I do want to make clear here is uh, there was a uh, there was a good comment. There's, I mean, there's always good comments, but this one stuck out to me a little bit. Uh, this person says there is a bug with the cleaning because even if the object isn't dirty and you ask for it to be cleaned, it also says object will be sold. Then your cleaning personnel won't clean it. And this is something that we actually had uh, go on. Sorry, go on yesterday. Um, I forgot, you know, it was sometime in the episode, maybe late in the episode, but I kind of zoomed in on an object that needed to be clean. I think it was the power generators actually thinking about it now. We zoomed in on it and we requested it to be clean just to see if it was salvage salvageable. And when you hover over, it, it says cannot be or cannot be sold or is going to be sold. Hang on a sec. All rise, you minions, and start serving your master. <laughs> so, uh, with that being said, when things are like that and you have like red items, right? And you hover over them and they said, I forgot what the exact text is. I think it is, um, can't be sold or is trying to be sold or something like that. And the maintenance just doesn't touch it. I think what's happening there is that the game isn't where it's at yet or where it wants to be, obviously. Uh, so I think a logistics manager would take over that part and kind of deal with stuff like that. I think a logistics manager, because I'm pretty sure um, if we take a look in prison policies, uh, percentage of employees work shift allowed staff to where is it? Give the manager of staff ability to where 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 is it? I oh right here. Give the logistics manager the ability to buy resources automatically. Now, logistics manager would buy resources automatically. Is the logistics manager going to be able to sell resources or sell any objects? I don't know. When I think of a logistics manager, I think of that also in the case of maybe he would call the shots on certain items or something. I don't know, dude. But anyways, it's May 1986. This is the month my uh, my wife was born, not the year. <laughs> not the year uh like maybe 11 years later then we're talking but here we are wow 11 years later really anyways uh so th the temperature is 68 degrees here in this morning now i can't wait and i'm really excited for when it does happen when we have to worry about climate it kind of reminds me of like a uh, like a rim world type thing where later on in development obviously rim world uh i think right i don't think it was ever like an, an alpha or anything but rim world you could, you know, adjust the temperature, AC units, heaters, and all that. Uh, even r most recently with Going Medieval, kind of micromanaging the uh, the uh, temperature and all that. So I, I think that will be fun. Now, someone did mention that in in this area, there's just not a lot of stuff for the inmates to do, I guess. Which, I'll be honest with you, I've had bench presses out, and I don't think I've seen a single inmate use one, or these weights, or these bars. So I don't know if the inmates are not... <sighs> they're not ready to do it yet like i don't i don't know if the game is like i don't want to say this like i don't want to say oh they're the inmates are not programmed to do it yet because i believe that they probably are or should be but nobody has touched anything in the gym the reason why i did put a extra water fountain down is i have been told that even if you put a water fountain down in their cells they will still come out to the gym to use the water fountain, which is, again, something that's, that's weird. I've been told that. I don't know. I haven't tested that theory out. I haven't tested out that if I put a drinking fountain in their cells, that they will stop coming here to have a drink. So kind of like a hold off, like hold on a minute type thing is I put two drinking fountains in here, hopefully to subtract this long line every single day. Does the long line matter? No, not really. Uh, but it is a little silly, no? <laughs> Uh, one thing that is actually coming to my attention right now, yo. Nerd alert. Yeah. Have a nerd alert. All the new boots are coming in. So one thing that you could probably guess right now is, look, there's trash inside the gym, and if you click on the gym, you cannot even add, you can't add a trash can. So I just now tried to do what I wanted to do. Hello, Guzi or Guhazi or Guizi. He has been rehabilitated. Good job. Um, what I was trying to do was just add a simple trash can in here. You just can't do that. That, I think, should be fixed as well. 
in, in the foreseeable future because this is this is unacceptable right uh, eventually these items will become dirty your maintenance will become over overwhelmed and that that goes for everything that goes for everything that goes for things in the therapy room uh and someone mentioned yo giorgio blanco has been rehabilitated thank you so much uh it, it even goes like here because people did mention that Ruslan has been re rehabilitated. Thank you so much. People have mentioned that um, the therapist, what does the therapist actually do, right? They sit there and I guess there is an efficiency, but this is something that we don't really know of. Like what is efficiency to a therapist? I, I don't know uh, because the inmates use the objects within the room, right? So maybe the therapist gives an effect off onto the objects, making the objects work faster. I don't know like some people argue in the comment section uh, a couple days ago i think in a couple episodes ago they say hey what does the therapist actually do that's a fair point um and more objects that you have you know it's going to consume your maintenance and it is what it is now as you see right here this bad boy is is done uh it looks like we have a broken jurassic park or jurassic pack uh, and I'm not even going to clean it. I'm just going to sell it, get rid of it, replace it. It is what it is. I'm not too worried about it. There it is. I think that's just maintenance daily upkeep. I think we just have to deal with it for the most part. And that is where it is. So let's go ahead and take a look at our new boot here. This is going to be Malik. Hello, Malik. He was in an organized gang. His codename was The Mugger. He is not even used. He has not even used his phone call rights. Okay. Uh, so what? <laughs> He's going to be a giant kleptomatic, which means sensory overload, baby. Let's go ahead and assign him to a cell and then put him in a sensory overloaded situation, which is this one, right? Yeah, which is this one. Uh, and I think, like, in the beginning episodes of this uh, series, we've talked about this uh, room in particular. You cannot add another object like you can in the others. Well, I don't even know if you can add another VR. Can you add something to this? You can! Look at you can add different kinds of VR. There's like freaking Tron, dude. This is incredible. Outer space? Oh my god. <laughs> this is awesome. But you can't do anything in here. Like this is like, I feel like this is a one and done. I don't know if that's by mistake, if that will be updated in the future. I don't know. Another thing that was mentioned in the, in the comment section was, you know, you're adding objects uh, in, in buildings. Like, look, you add objects in here, like a poster. This thing will deteriorate over time. And that's, again, gonna, you know, take your attention away from your maintenance crew have your maintenance crew do things that are um reasonable like uh like viable i guess so this right here prime example this is done this is gone this is this is bonito right movie shelf we could clean it but what's the point right what's the point of actually doing it and what's the point of replacing it uh is it gonna help us no is it gonna help the inmates maybe uh, but it's a movie shelf, dude. Like, calm down, right? This room, the library, can also be cleaned as well. We can add some priorities here. Arguably, you can say that we should probably add more maintenance crew. Uh, there has been some horror stories, it sounds like, in the comment section about uh, maintenance crews and how uh, the bigger someone's prison or the bigger that your prison gets, the more uh, upkeeping or more, like, keeping things up to up to date as far as, like, clean-wise is, is going to get even more of a headache going forward. I believe that. I absolutely believe that. And just so you guys are aware and you are new to the channel, I say, I say, uh, I say this a lot. I say someone, right? I say someone has commented, right? Someone. I don't say their names. And I do that intentionally uh, just because I don't want them to be singled out, right? So when I say someone has commented and you know what I'm referring to and it's your exact comment, I know 90% of the time I know the name behind it. So don't think I just overlook that i know who you are who's commenting it i just don't want to say it on blast here in case you don't want to be singled out right i mean yeah people can go check the comment section themselves but i mean if people you know don't read the comment section you know i don't I, you know i think you understand right i think you're a smart cookie right all right anyways so here we are we're doing we're doing decent again i think this month may may month um we could probably invest in in doing that we could actually get rid of this though Let's get rid of that freaking loan. So there we go. We have our loan taken care of. We have $520, uh, which actually makes our profits two times. Well, not two times, but I guess it covers our expenses and then gives us the additional profits on top of that. We should be getting like inmates soon, hopefully very soon. Our energy generation is good. Our energy like or water generation is like a little bit out of control, a little bit. Seems like our food generation is not really up to par when it comes to our consumption. Here's a new boot, by the way. 
So we might have to make some adjustments here in the in the cook area. We have a nerd alert. All the new boots are coming in. Cheers to that, baby. Okay, so yeah, cooking could be something that we could focus in on a little bit more. Um, I want to hire more maintenance because I do I do believe, and I am taking the recommendation here that I think we need to be careful with the more we expand because the more dude the man is a pyromaniac. <laughs> Um, I think the more we expand, the more of a chance we have of really getting overwhelmed with maintenance. So here we go. We have Ray, Rayan, Rayan, uh, F it, Ryan. He tried to steal the moon. Didn't that like happen in like, like despicable me or something? I don't know. But luckily he failed terribly. He frequently goes to the gym. Here you can learn to talk. Here you can learn to talk honestly about your feelings. Well, I guess let's go ahead and assign him to a cell. There we go. Uh, so we have a pyromaniac, which means we're going to have to build another therapy room, right? Let's go ahead and throw him into the gambling section, uh, just because we know for sure there's not a lot of gam gamblers. So already, this kind of throws a hook in our in our, in our our fish bait. <laughs> this throws a little bit of a loop in our... Look, I, I, I don't, I'm not good at talking sometimes. So we're going to expand the this room, obviously. We're going to add a pyromaniac room. We just don't have the money to do it quite yet because we did pay off our loan. So I'm kind of just waiting a little bit, idling. So let's go ahead and fast forward some time here so that we can get things going on here. Hopefully we can get another new boot in as well. It's almost like I'm saying new boob. I promise you, I'm not saying boob. I'm saying boot. Boot. New boot. I don't know. All right. So yeah that, that's a good discussion is like the whole maintenance thing so if we actually take a look at our maintenance people right now how many do we have we have one two three four five six we have seven maintenance three guards seven maintenance i mean it's quite a bit right that's quite a bit seven maintenance for the size of the prison we have everything seems to be clean Okay, so there's a little bit of an issue over here, if you can see. There's a little bit of toilet issue going on here, so let's go. There's a lot of issues now going on over here all of a sudden, dude. Uh, let's get rid of that, and let's get rid of the trash can, and I guess let's get rid of the bed. A lot of things over here could um, could be taken care of, like someone prioritize these cells immediately, please. I would really appreciate that. So in here, let's go ahead and add a toilet. Uh, do I replace the trash can? Uh, yeah. It almost feels like the trash cans are just there, right? I feel like they're just there to get, um, for, I feel like there's no effect to the trash can. And, like, they all have trash cans and all, like, but it's still dirty, you know? I don't know. Maybe that's weird for me to say. Like, this entire cell block needs to be redone. Like, look how many, look how dirty it is. Like, everything in here needs to be prioritized. Hopefully, our maintenance crew doesn't get a little too overwhelmed here. But all this stuff needs to be taken care of. And I think scheduling and, uh, like, having areas assigned to people, I think, would be a benefit. Because then you can, like, have a maintenance crew constantly come in here throughout the day. Which, I think in real life, though, the inmates are mostly, at least in the U.S., mostly are responsible for their own being of, um of cleaning their cells and keeping their cells clean and honestly that's kind of what they would prefer anyways i feel like the inmates uh would take very pride like there's some inmates out there that take huge pride in keeping their cell clean uh because they don't they don't want to be disgusting they don't want to be in some filth granted there is some inmates that, that you know don't give a f but i'm just saying i feel like there's more inmates out there that do give an f than not i guess that, if that makes any sense Anyway, this is Wanama. Wanma? Wanma? He likes liquor too much and ends up getting into trouble. He seems very calm and insists that he doesn't want to cause any trouble. Okay, so just an alcoholic. Let's go ahead and bring him in. I think we have a cell for him. Yeah, we have one more cell for him. There you go, my man. And that's, uh, yeah, let's throw you into some art therapy as well. Power just came on. Consumption, how are we doing here? We're doing great. We're doing fantastic. Good stuff. All right, so there we go. Yeah, so these guys will go through this entire line, it looks like. I mean, honestly, like, the maintenance crew seems like they're doing a lot better than how they were at the beginning of this series. So I'm kind of happy about how things are working with, with the maintenance crew. That, you know, that 
that experience alone varies from person to person. It could be going terrible for you or even better for you. I don't even know, dude. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at... Um, I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be too bad, I don't think, right? To, like, upgrade these people? Maybe. I know it's, like, a huge, huge, like, huge investment to upgrade them to three stars. So we still have one cell open. That's good to know. All right, so how much money are we going to be making? $20,000. Now, I, we're going to find out if we're going to be jumping into the red here at the bottom of the hour here. I don't think, well, maybe. There might be some expenses here. Uh, but we should be recouped immediately once everyone walks out of their cell. So let's go ahead and actually fast forward the day here. Keep an eye on our energy consumption as well as, as things get wild at night. Yo. Everyone back to their cells. Dos yes, sir. You can see at nighttime, the energy consumption is at an all time high. And I am keeping an eye on this. We are technically still making more than what we're consuming. Now we're not. Now we are. Okay, now we're losing it. So this is something definitely to keep an eye on. So we are going to be adding another therapy room, which is the pyromaniac, which means guess what? More consumption, right? More consumption of energy. There is an argument to be made here that um, maybe adding another generator won't hurt. But, oh my god, look at that. Big hit there. Maybe adding another generator won't hurt. I think that's what we're going to do come June, baby. So now we're technically 200 down. And we are going to be ending the night here in the next hour. Everybody's in lockdown. So there we go. We have like an idea. So we are technically spending 300 energy more than that we are generating. It's not a lot, uh, but over time, well, now it's 400, but over time it will uh, definitely come of something. So if you take a look here, we got to replace this. Th got to go. Bye bye. It's a little tedious, right? It's, it's a lot of tedious, actually, right? But it is what it is. How are we doing now, energy? Yeah, so yeah, I think... Uh, Investing into a small generator is going to happen in the next month of June. Here we go. Let's see what we have. A little bit, you know, spent and earned, but that's all right. Paid loans. That was a huge, huge spender for us. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Zero fights. We have never had a fight in our prison. We have the best prison of all time, actually. So there we go. Let's go to June. June baby. I just had a June bug. All right. So three people will be eligible for parole. Will they get it? We're going to find out here. So let's see. Who's going to be eligible for parole? Jeroy. Get sent, dude. Timmer. Get sent. And someone commented and actually gave me the right pronunciation. I, I It absents my mind right now, but get sent. <laughs> All right. All right. There we go. So $18,000 already. And I think that's before everyone walks out and gives, gives us our money here. I think that's how it works, right? When they walk out, I think that's when we get paid as well, too. So we'll let the parolees go on. Hopefully they won't reoffend. We should get a summary of if anybody reoffended from our last month paroles. So we're getting money there. Um, I think that might have been Grant right there, like Grants. More money there, maybe Grants again. I don't know what's going on with there with the added money. Okay. All right, you minions, and start serving your master. <laughs> so as you can see here. The two parolees that we had reoffended. Now, I wish the game kind of gave you a percentage of, like, when when the parole screen pops up, and they're like, "All right, you want to send them off or not?" I wish it gave a percentage of like how much they would reoffend, because I feel like it's just the luck of the draw, right? If there was some actual logical reason behind it, uh, that would be kind of cool. But there we go, eight thousand dollars. Apparently, we just have to spend in bonuses, which dips into our profits altogether. So $35,000 is how much we have. Four open cells also, <clears throat> which is okay. Um, energy. Energy is something that I want to focus in on a little bit more today. Oh, I apologize for that. <laughs> so let's see. How close can we get these generators together? Oh, my God. Connect the freaking network, dude. Uh, excuse me? No, no, excuse me. No, excuse me. That's a mess. What the hell just happened there? Okay. Let's go ahead and just buy another generator. That will help us for the long term and short term. 5,000 grand. I'm okay spending that. There we go. 
All right, so that's good. It's weird that the maintenance crew, they kind of prioritize cleaning these right off the bat, but I, you know, whatever, I'm, I'm okay with it. Looks like we do have a broken down sink here. I will, uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring up the heat map, right? I'm gonna bring up the heat map. What the hell did I just sell? Oh, it was a sink. Give me the sink, please. There we go. I will bring up the heat map to see how this the cell block is doing. Okay, looks like a bed is out of commission as well. How do you break a bed? I don't know, dude. I've been in my own bed for God knows how many years. Uh, you've been in your bed for like two months. There we go. So let's bring up the heat map here. It is maintenance. So where is big targeted areas? So this right here, these cell blocks need to be prioritized immediately. Doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and prioritize these as best that we can. Hopefully these can get clean quickly. Clean that. I mean, even this, clean that clean that these I feel like we're relatively already cleaned we'll clean that clean that all the cell blocks in the morning time or in I say morning time but like the beginning of the month let's just clean them all and then over here obvi obviously like the kitchen area needs to be cleaned prioritize that shower clean bathroom looks like it's about to break uh, this hallway area I guess this building or something clean it the, the, that's fine but yeah, I think that's all good in the hood for most of that stuff. Looks like this, looks like this right here is about to break. This freaking, yeah, this this desk, which actually I think broke just now. It did. Okay, all right. I understand. <laughs> I love this game so much. Um, I really hope that they decide or they plan on. God damn it! I I really hope that they. Um, have plans to update the game quickly there's some games out there that are really on top of it like some devs and then there's some devs that are not really on top of it and they take months and months um it is what it is i know like we all have different lives and we all you know we all have busy schedules so i i'm just hoping for the best i'm not trying to talk bad talk down about anybody i'm just hoping for the best like oh yeah i hope updates are like the roadmap is not too far and, and and beyond right does that make any sense i hope that does yeah i think you catch my drift so june 1986 there we go let's go ahead and take a look through our prisoners here to kind of reassess what we have going on here so ryan how are you doing here ryan you're doing fine in the in the gambling area all right that's okay uh juan wanma wanma he's doing okay looks like everybody for the most part is done with their therapy sessions like malik how's malik doing he's in the sensory everybody seems to be rehabilitated mark how you doing mark mark where are you okay mark you need to be done here and be uh, assigned there so there we go reassigned mark um and i think that's it yeah everybody else is yo nerd alert all right nerd alert. all the new boots are coming in so another thing that we need to do also that we talked about is expansion of this. We need to add a pyromaniac room. I don't know how big the pyromaniac room has to be, but we do need to add one regardless. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Pyromaniac, please. That is the gardening. Eight by eight. Is this outside or indoors? Well, I guess it's indoors. Eight by eight gardening. There we go. Let's go ahead and put that, plop that down. This is actually kind of cool. I love this. This is our first time building a gardening. Yo. What else can we put here? We're, I mean, we're gonna have to need to hire, right? Another, um, another therapist. But this is actually kind of cool. I love this. So, oh, bonsai tree! Put the bonsai tree in. Okay, that's that's fine. Three is okay. Let's not overdo it, but three is fine. I was going to hire a yeah 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 hire a new therapist. Hopefully on the on the cheap here. 306, how you doing? Efficiency okay. 305, how you doing? Efficiency okay. Again, what does efficiency actually mean, right? That's that's the big question, right? What does efficiency actually uh, do, right? 317, get hired Oompa. I feel like I've I've hired 10 Oompa Loompas before. I don't know. Let's see here. Akuchi. Akuchi. Lost his money betting on a team. The report from the last person. He was in says that he tried to escape several times oh baby you want to try to escape here bring it he is a sociopath slash um alcoholic so we will put him there and then we will actually throw him into mr uh vr no we will vr there we go great all right so that's good so now we have a gardening we've expanded the therapy room uh which is good so yeah i think that's good uh, what we could do over here is add another door. So let's actually do that if we can, please. No, add another door like right there. 
We could work on the path more, which, how much money do we have? 20, 20,000? Yeah, we could. We could, definitely for sure. Cooking. Cooking is something that we need to also take a, in consideration here for. We don't know how well. Let's actually clean that room, please. Uh, we don't know how well the cooking will stand, right? I mean, we, we lose prisoners and then we gain a few more every month. So I feel like the cooking and the consumption is kind of evened out right now. Until we like get so much more, like a just a huge wave of prisoners, which hasn't happened yet. And I don't know if that will ever happen right now in early access that we're at version, you know, 0.9.1.8. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it would be cool that you could get more than just one prisoner, like maybe like two at a time, three at a time, instead of one every time. Prisoner Wanma has been rehabilitated. Good thing. Good job, Wanma. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Mark, how are we doing? Mark is going to be fine. He's going to be staying there until he's fully rehabilitated. Ryan is going to be fine. No, he's done with this. So let's, let's pull him out of there. Let's put him... Let's put them in the pyromaniac. Let's give that room a purpose right now. We'll go ahead and have these rooms clean, set to be cleaned here. And I get it. Like, it's a different, like, it's a different ball game here because technically, you know, you got to think that maintenance, oh, maintenance is, is, is out of control, right? It's, it's, it's hard to keep up with. You're not wrong, right? You're, you're definitely not wrong. But you also got to think that, the, like one day right from day to night is one month right so over a month's period you got to realize that things will deteriorate will get dirty but i think at what rate like replacing a therapist desk every month is not is not is not real <laughs> i just feel like it's not a real thing so anyways like I said, I want to put like a nice little garden right here. I think that would be really neat. Um, that's going to, you know, put a little strain on our gardener. Maybe like add, you know, an extra expense to us, which, you know, I kind of think is okay, right? I, I mean, yeah, you know, you don't want to get too in, in, into the into the craziness, but it feels like we are at a point in time right now where like prisoners are not coming and going, or I mean, they are going, but they're not coming in as quickly as I would like them to. So I think we're like stuck at like a, 18 to $20,000 monthly income right now. We have, I mean, there's, a, it, you know, you, you play this game. If you play this game, you know, look at all this room for expansion. You can make a huge killing here, right? Huge killing. Now it could also go back onto prestige. If you have more of a prestige, uh, you probably get more inmates eventually. I don't know, dude, maybe, right? I don't know what influences more inmates. I would say maybe success rate of parolees would do that. I don't know. A lot of things that we don't know. Let's go ahead and take a look at some uh, grants here. Maybe we could do some here. Request to water staff or staff to water 10 plants. That would help us with our gardening. Buy one pack of medical supplies. Kind of like don't want to do. Promote five guards. We don't even have five guards. We have three. Maybe we can hire more guards. Um, build a pharmacy. Something that we don't have. And do we need right now? I guess technically no, I guess. You know, there's a new boot, by the way. Nerd alert. We have a nerd alert. All the new boots are coming in. Now, at the end of this month, going into the next month, grant paroles. We should be able to get $7,000 for two paroles. Oh, my God. Prisoner's health. Wow. All right. So here we go. I wonder if, speaking of the devil about pharmacy, when one of your prisoners is sick, it will display a low health warning. You can also check the health status at any time by selecting them with the mouse, checking the health bar, and da -da. to heal a sick prisoner, you must assign them to a properly equipped infirmary with a medic assigned to it the prisoner will remain there until the, his health rises high enough to get back into to back into sleep into his cell remember to take the health i hate the freaking emojis dude the emotes in the text it throws me off my reading here remember to take the health of your prisoners very seriously because if something happens to any of them the government will impose a fine oh prisoners will be transferred to another prison pris prison where he receives better care okay so that's actually a pretty cool uh, mechanic there um, that we haven't really experimented with so if a prisoner has low health you got to take care of him as you can see right here this man is low health for what reason i don't know um it doesn't say he's been in a fight he just might be just have bad health so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take care of him we're going to need an infirmary finally at some use so this begs the question where do you put the infirmary great question Probably in this section here next to the cafeteria. Um, I honestly believe this mess hall is big enough. Like we still have a lot of room to work with here. We can even if we wanted to 
push that over to the side and have a ton more room with tables. I think this mess hall is okay. Um, I think over here we can sneak in an infirmary for now, and I think that would be good. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and invest in that. We're gonna have to build an infirmary all over again. Uh, so let's go into leisure and let no no that's not it's not leisure to actually go to the infirmary room. It's, it's essential, dude. Let's go ahead and build this bad boy up. There we go. We'll build <clears throat> something you know, not nothing too crazy, right? Just a nice simple infirmary. There we go. I don't expect there to be a lot of people getting sick. Hopefully, you know, fingers crossed. Let's hire a medic. Dude, I love your Afro Juanita. Who, how, what's the cheap rate for a medic? Looks like 355 is ish, is the lowest of the low. 361. Juanita, Afro, bring it in. There we go. We will assign that and treat that prisoner. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, so now he should be getting treated. Uh, excuse me, medic. Uh, medic, this is not where are you going? No, where, where, where are you going actually? Yeah, no, get back in there and treat the, the prisoner. Thank you. Uh, so here we go. We have a new boot. This is Kaj. Kaj. 19. He pretended to be a prince of a country to try to seduce a princess. I, I love it. Um, let's assign him and get him into art class immediately. There we go. He's been assigned and then put you into art class, which is over here. This man needs to rest. Dude, go rest. Get out of here. You're, you're done for the day. I don't even think it's therapy hour anyways. All right, so what else we have here? <clears throat> yeah, so the little medic icon does come up. That's good. Okuchi, how's Okuchi doing? Okuchi is in the VR. Okay, Okuchi's gonna be focusing on, on VR. Cash, we just dealt with Malik. How's Malik doing? He's almost done with his disorder. He should be rehabilitated very, very soon. Ryan, Ryan is almost done with his pyromaniac, which he should be done with that very, very soon. And then jump into some art class. And then Mark, hello, Mark. Mark, you're also in art therapy as well. Right? Art therapy is drunk. Yeah. I say drunk, but like drinking disorder. Let's go ahead and like clean this freaking, you know, gym, please. What is the notification for? I I'm assuming the notification is for this man here. Yeah. He's rehabilitated, which is good. So all he, he needs to do is really work on his health. That's all that's fine. That's all right, dude. He'll, he'll be fine. I think he'll do fine. Um, this room, the mess hall, probably could be cleaned up a little bit if need be. This entire building could be cleaned up. I think maintenance is doing okay. Um, there probably is, you know, some truth of, of hiring more maintenance. Uh, but you can see with the infirmary and the medic now, we are, we are spending $10,000 now. That is our new average expense. Um, it was 9000 before, but now it's 10000 That is, you know, obviously, right? Just keep an eye here to see what what can happen here i mean what can we add can we add more beds in here we we could definitely add more beds so this is a good thing right here so um this a weighing scale what's it for honestly the only thing this is for is for prestige right you put this in you get prestige um as you can see it's maintained by the maintenance so the only thing you're getting out of this is another chore for the maintenance and 150 prestige what is 150 prestige to us at 72,000 prestige out of 125,000. It's not a lot. It's not a lot at all. So yeah, happiness is going down on this guy because he is in the infirmary. That's kind of interesting to know. Now we are going to be using medical supplies now that we have an inmate, right? So 257, uh, this, this kind of begs the question. All right, then, you know, you got to start building a pharmacy. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> not, not yet. God, look at them. They're always the maintenance man is in line for a drink. This is incredible. I think one way to to combat this as well is putting vending vending machines around uh, the um, the prison as well. So maybe we do that too. Maybe we put some vending machines, scatter some around from time to time. Um, and you know, I've been told that that vending machines will can be consumed through uh, water and and food. But the game doesn't tell us that, which I really wish it did. I really wish it did tell us that officially, right? So let's just put like one drink here and we'll see what happens. And then like maybe something over here, maybe for, yeah, like right here for the inmates and just leave it like that. Not overdo it like we did that one time with the staff room, right? Let's go ahead and sell this magazine rack. Will we, will we replace the magazine rack? Again, is there a point to do it? I don't know, dude. 
Still a notification here in the prisoner section. Um, again, I think it has to just do with the prisoner being... Yeah, it is. Still the prisoner uh, being treated for. He, he's getting treated pretty quickly, though. Hello? Nerd alert! We have a nerd alert! All the new boots are coming in! See, I, I, I made that message in hopes, like, that... Um, sorry, this is... Oh, this is just, just, just like... I don't know, dude, like... Sorry, I didn't mean to pick you up. I made that message and hope that we would get more than just one inmate in at a time. <laughs> like, oh, new boots, right? Didn't work out so well. No, did it. So this is... Excuse me, what? This is, okay, this is Razlov. Razlov. He was arrested during a street fight. He's, it's hard to be, it's hard to get him to listen to us. He's a bit of a troublemaker. He is going to go straight to art class. All right. Looks like a lot of people have a, you know, drinking disorder. And I think that's like common right i think that's a real thing so i i do believe that so there we go we'll go ahead and assign that and there we go fantastic how much money we're making now twenty thousand dollars so we're still making at least more than uh, way more uh, than you know we have yo let's actually see this this man's going to clean this hopefully he can fix it we're going to find out if he can fix this or not going to fulfill going to fulfill a maintenance request okay this is this was technically rolling red now it's going up in uh in 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 clean cleanliness level i guess Let's see. Because I don't think this was... I, I mean, this was broken, right? But now he is, has a chance to fix it. Which he just did, actually. Huh. Interesting. Now, my man, would you, like, care to, like, clean these ones as well? <laughs> like, don't walk past the other ones. There we go. No, no, no. No, no, no. There we go. Clean all these. Prioritize everything. I, I don't want these to go to waste. They were expensive. This was also expensive. The Harry Potter library, also expensive. So, like, I don't know. If we clean, like, if we hit the whole room and do this, will the entire room be clean, or is it just the flooring of the room? That's what I'm kind of curious about. Let's take a look here. Energy consumption is at all, you know, is going lower and lower. Uh, we are consuming way more energy than we are generating, which is bad, because I, I thought we kind of deterred that, but maybe we didn't. Maybe we didn't. Now, if this person is cleaning the entire room, it's just the floors. It's not the items alone, right? Yeah, I guess it's not the items alone. That sucks, because then you gotta, like, micromanage every little piece of thing, right? Alright, everyone's going home, I guess? What time is it? 2045? I guess so. Man, energy's getting hit so hard right now. Holy crap. Um... I mean, more energy, dude? I guess. I, I didn't realize we were consuming this much energy now. I mean, we didn't make that many big changes. Everyone back to their Except for maybe this, right? Well, okay. I did add a pi I did add a pyromaniac room this month, I believe. And I add an infirmary. So, yeah, you could probably say energy-wise, you probably needed more. Um... That, that's something. That's something to think about. Uh, what is, like, the... How much is the big one? I think it's, like, 10, 10 grand? 10 grand? Yeah. Hell, this might be something I buy right now. $15,000? I know this looks terrible, right? You got, like, 20 different things going on here. But we'll do that. We'll buy that. And that will generate us. That should last us. We shouldn't have to deal with energy in the next month at all. Let's go ahead and fast forward the time till the next month, please. Yeah, I don't think we need to deal with that any anymore. I think we're fine. We are gonna maybe have a little bit slightly of a blackout here. Maybe. We'll see. We might. We might have a blackout. <sighs> Hold your breath, ladies and gentlemen. 30 seconds. Oh my god. We done it. We done it. Okay, so money spent. Way oh we actually earned more than we spent. Well that makes sense, yeah. Let's go ahead and go to the next month. I think I paused it. Hopefully the time's not fast forward. It is July 1986. Slow down. Pause it. Four people on parole. Razi, get sent. Victor, get sent. Umar, get sent. Raul, get sent. All right. Four prisoners are going to be leaving us, which means we will have some money to work with. Our income gets hit drastically, as you can see. We did get $7,000 in our grants as well, so that's good. We have not had a single hacker yet. 
Um, we should be doing the alcoholics very, very soon. Um, and then anger management should be done as well. Grants real quick. We'll take a look before the end here. I think building a garden is going to be something I do. Promoting staff, hiring staff is also something I will do. Building a pharmacy might be something I have to do. I don't know because, well, five for this man doesn't seem like a lot. So maybe building a pharmacy is still a little bit out of the way. But we'll fast forward time real quick until the parole parolees leave. There we go. All right, you minions. So, Start serving your master. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like one out of three uh was good two of them re-offended that sucks dude that sucks all right so now we have 50 50 000. look at that fifty-two thousand dollars. energy generation should be at an all-time high this month uh maintenance definitely needs to be uh, worked on upon uh, upon but it is july 1986 i think we're doing okay um is there room for growth yes absolutely there's always room for growth I feel like our prisoner intake is at a very like standstill which i i wish not like i wish we were getting more i wish we were handling more i wish we were tackling more dealing with more um uh, but maybe that will change i don't know what is your guys ex experience on the prisoners intake do you guys hover around a certain number do you guys have like 20 prisoners at a time uh does it depend on how much you rehabilitate i could see it depends on how much you rehabilitate because if you rehabilitate at a high um <clears throat> at a high rate you're, they're going to be eligible to or we're going to send them off on parole at a high rate as well but i don't know today has been a pretty good one though so thank you guys so much for stopping by it's a pleasure not being with you here today and i hope to see you in tomorrow's episode where we will continue with more prison tycoon under new management do take care hey, hey, strange, strange,